right, uh, welcome back to Belvedere Driving Test Centre, the number one most difficult driving test centre in the world. Right, let's go. Land observation, signal, move off. At the end of the road, turn right. Turn right? It's a one-way road. Where do I position? All the way to the right. All the way. No position here and turn right. First junction, yeah, not off to a good start. Let's just put it that way, okay? I don't want to scare anyone off. Uh, by the way, yeah, if you are bored, smash that like button. Roundabout, straight. A lot of traffic on the right here. Calling back to the previous videos that we did. Number one most important part about roundabouts and all junctions. Approaching speed. Running, jogging, walking. If we do that, the rest of the roundabout usually flow. Zebra poles, Belisha beacons, one complete crossing. No one here. What's the speed limit? No signs, regular street lights, 30 miles an hour. You have a few scores around here, so just be cautious of um, morning and afternoon driving tests as we have lots of um, pedestrians around here. Okay, at the roundabout, we're gonna turn left. We're gonna go down the hill, back towards Giriff Driving Test Center. Now, signal left, even though there's this road here on the left, don't worry about it. It's literally just for people that live there. So if you've got that left signal on, people are gonna think you're gonna go here regardless. No one goes down there. Anyways, look, you're gonna have to trust me on this one different roundabouts of different kind of scenarios if you like it even says this in the highway code so treat each roundabout differently now the, the guidelines for roundabouts are left lane for turning left and straight and right lane for turning right this is the horrible road that we had a look at also on the Erif driving test center routes now Erif and Belvedere share, share the same test routes now I'm also going to come back up this road as well. I want to really highlight this one a lot on this driving test. So we come from Upper Belvedere or Belvedere and we're going down towards Eriff. So Eriff Driving Test Centre is actually just down this hill at the bottom and then we go across just if you could see over those houses it's just literally over those houses. Okay now this is the important part. We talked about the double decker buses earlier so I can get through here there's no oncoming traffic but I do know the road's narrowing look at the double decker bus here it's stopped so imagine what's around that bend the double decker bus has given us a very good indication that there's going to be traffic right otherwise it wouldn't have stopped however if it wasn't here anticipate oncoming traffic make sure it's safe before you go over this line and into the right lane because there may be oncoming traffic so we must see if it's safe then make the decision to cross over into the oncoming traffic if we haven't practiced this road, this road is incredibly difficult. Look how narrow it is here. I'm almost touching these parked cars and I've got oncoming cars. I might even have an oncoming double-decker bus because I really can't stress it enough. Practice this road. This road is a pick, Picardy Road. Picardy Road. P-I-C-A-R-D-Y Road. Picardy Road. Turning right, we talked about this at the test centre. Keep that far right lane. Make sure that you're tucked into the centre line and that you're not breaching it and going into the oncoming traffic. And this is the position of turning right. This junction was on the last one. Look at this bike. But I'm looking over here, side road. Now I'm looking here because someone could come out the side road like the bicycle alongside me. And then straight away I've got a pedestrian crossing which had loads of pedestrians there using the crossing. Okay, we're going to go ahead. We're going to have a roundabout, good, they're stopping, Round, uh, bus is signaling left, ah, sorry, I'm going to go around the roundabout and show you this side road here, because normally you'll come from the test centre, so you might go down here and come back, so I'm just going to do a little short loop here, but the test centre is just down that road, that's Eriff, so you can come from Belvedere down to Eriff Driving Test Centre, Maybe do some parking or a manoeuvre somewhere around there 
and then come back from here if driving to centre, back up this side road here. So not the main road we drew on earlier where we had the double decker bus, but the one just before it. You can take both. This one's a little bit tricky, especially if you're using a manual driving, a manual car. <laughs> it's the last video of the day I've been driving all day. But I've got my excuses out now. Now, here, I had students melting the clutch. You just smell burnt clutch. Keep this side. Don't just stay there because this, this park van, I can see why we'd want to keep there. Remember, I've got a tone problem. Don't listen to tone, listen to the words. So I can see why we're going to keep there, but we mustn't. We must keep here on this side. So if there's no obstructions on our side of the road, make sure before the end of the end of the road at the junction we come back in position on our side just in case there's any cars that might try to turn into this road if you've got a manual car clutch control there incredibly difficult even more difficult here this is super steep it might not come across in the video but as you get to this bend and you're turning left you have to stop here because you cannot see anything on the right there's a george bush and a range rover so i'm going to creep out now I can see, double check and turn. Now you'll have to hold your clutch at the biting point, set your gas and gently raise your clutch. If you hold it and put too much gas, it'll burn the clutch out there, maybe not a fail. It's an unpleasant smell. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop my now. Um, but yeah, just practice that, especially if you're in a manual car, incredibly difficult. Very nerve-wracking on the test as well. Now if I'm in a manual car, I've had to stop here at the temporary traffic light, look for the red sign where it says wait here, the most important part of temporary traffic lights, that red sign, knowing where to stop, don't go beyond it. Clutch control, raise the clutch up, set the gas, make sure you check your right shoulder there, or mirrors, and shoulder if you want to, it's a good tip. Um, and see if there's any motorbikes trying to be cheeky, because they might be parked up, waiting for the traffic light as well, and nip round us so quickly. Just make sure, change direction on top of all your clutch control um, at that temporary traffic light. Okay, so here we are, back up to Upper Belvedere. At the end of the road, turn right. So again, just focusing on that position, that center line. Look at that, I'm hugging it. It doesn't give enough room for the car behind to turn left, but if the road was wide enough, it would. Get to the end of the road, right left right safe out to the center then turn so we end up on our side of the road if we turn at the lines at the side road we'll turn into the oncoming traffic so make sure you come out to the center then turn right turning right is always more difficult than um turning left turn left's not that tricky is it if you want a reference point for turning left when you see the corner on the left and it disappears out the windscreen that's when we start to steer. So I'm gonna show you this next roundabout, turning left. This is really important for roundabouts, position. So we're keeping here on the left, pointing like the yellow line. Early vision, early decision. Just making sure I don't get the nitty. And then here we are, one way road, one way arrows, dominate, take the center of the road. I'm checking, why is that van facing this way if it's a one way? Okay, dominating, taking the center of the road, equal distance on both sides. It's a high street, could have people walking out here, cars moving off without checking properly. So make sure we just exercise caution during appropriate speed. At the moment, I'm doing like 15 miles an hour, not that fast, regardless of it being a 30 mile an hour road, because of the less space of speed, rule number one of driving, and maintaining an appropriate speed. That's a speed that I can react at. So somebody suddenly walks out, opens the door, drives away with no signal, no mirrors, I'm going to be able to react at that speed. I'm currently doing 18 now, so now I'm going to slow down because I can't see around these cars. Someone can walk out here. One way road, guys, so important. We're coming back to test. I showed you the other way where everybody fails on the last video. Go check that. This is the other way. So here I've got my own lane. I don't need to stop for those cars coming on the left. Don't listen to the tone, <laughs> listen to the words and I can just keep going, so everybody stops there, okay? So just keep going, you've got your own lane. There's no giveaway lines, there's no need to stop, it's just one road that bends around. It's a one-way road, we've got all these one-way arrows, and we had the one-way arrow on the ground that was pointing right, so we know what lane to use for the right turn. 
Here's the test center, turning left, inside, outside, mirror, left signal. Keep to the left here, another one way, and at the end of the road is the test center. We're gonna be pulling up on the left-hand side here. Again, remember to signal when we pull over, always signal when we pull over, always signal when we move off, and we're back to the test center. If you enjoyed that one, leave a comment. If you didn't, leave a comment. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have a lovely day, and uh, 